using 1 and 2 you can make two numbers 12 and 21 but if you just want to have a group which contains both of them then the group is only one that group contains both 1 and 2 that's it whether you call that group 12 or you call that group 21 the group is having both of them it is just one group which contains both the numbers within a group we don't bother about who is coming first who is coming second all we are interested in is that both of them are present but when we arrange them then we really are concerned who is first who is next when you make such things then you are talking about permutations when you do such things you are talking about combinations that's the difference between permutations and combinations suppose I have I have 11 players in a team if I have 11 players in a team that is just one team I have which comprises of 11 players that's it now who I will call first who I will call next that is about arrangement so just imagine how many ways you can arrange 11 things and as far as group is concerned just one group which comprises of 11 things let me give you another example suppose you are given a b and c and you have to make a team of just two just team of two then you will say okay I will pick up A and B I will pick up B and C I will pick up C and A that's it who is first who is second who is bothered it's a team of A and C it's a team of B and C it's a team of, team of A and B but now when we start talking that order is also important maybe in this team who will come first who will come next in this team who will come first who will come next in this team who will come first who will come next the moment you start doing that you start talking about permutations permutations are about order and combinations are not about order combinations are just about group that is the basic idea of the two terms in this topic we will start with law of counting fundamental law of counting and then we will go in detail about permutation and about combination what is the law of counting suppose you want to go to C via B to go to B from A there are different uh, ways maybe one way is by air other way is via road and third way is via ship from B to C there are just two ways by road by air now how many choices do you have uh, to go to C how many choices do you have to go to C so you will say this is one choice air road combination air air road road third road air fourth ship road five ship air six the same task of counting one 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 can be done in a much smarter way this can be done in three ways that can be done in two ways if one task is done in certain number of ways and if the other task is, task is done in certain number of ways and the two tasks are independent of each other they are independent nobody is putting a condition that if you travel by road then you will have to travel by road no such condition so if the two tasks are done in certain number of ways and if uh, they are independent of each other 
then the total number of ways of doing the whole job which comprises of these two tasks is obtained by multiplying the two, 3 into 2. Going from A to B and going from B to C, these are independent activities. Now, if you go from A to B, you cannot go via air and road both. To go from A to B, you cannot go via air and road both. It's not possible. But to go from A to C, you can go via air and road both. Of course, in pieces. Sometimes air, sometimes road. When you have such options that you have to make one choice, you can't have both choices, then we use the word words mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means you can't have all. You will have to choose something. So here we are talking of mutually exclusive events. Going by air is an event. Going by road is an event. You can't have both. But air, road, yes. They are independent of each other. From B to C you can't go by road and by air, both. You will have to make a choice. When you make a choice, it is mutually exclusive. So fundamental law of counting is that if one job is done in certain ways, then it is obviously mutually exclusive. Other job is done in certain ways, then they are obviously mutually exclusive. And these are independent. You multiply. I gave you a simple example because you could actually count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This can be made bigger and bigger. Generally speaking, m ways, n ways, total number of ways are m into n. But to get m, we had to add. We did not multiply 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, m. 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on up to n. So sometimes uh, choices are, total choices are obtained by addition. Sometimes total choices are obtained by multiplication. When are choices obtained by addition? When it is mutually exclusive. So for this task I had to add. For this task I had to add. But when I dealt with independent tasks, to get the overall job, I had to multiply. Addition and multiplication are two, two well-known techniques in permutation combinations and probability which you will see later. Addition and multiplication. Two techniques applied under different situations. Any questions about this? Let me know. You see, servants can be sent at different times. And the same servant you can send to friend number 3 also. That servant comes back and then that servant goes to friend 1.
so you can use the same servant repeatedly at different times now think about this friend in how many ways can you send him the card you ask mr a to go to him or her then you ask uh, mr b or you ask c you have got three choices but as i said they can go at different times to others also yes now i can see correct answer so you don't lose any choice you have three choices with you always this also three choices this also three choices m ways n ways t ways r ways q ways s ways so that total job can be done in 3 to the power 6 ways i think on simplification it should come out to be 729 If you have any questions regarding this then let me know yes i can see no problem with this question so if you choose this door to enter you have seven choices left so your first choice is eight one out of eight second choice will be seven only 56 way any questions let me know one twenty Let's see. Three, four, five post offices and four parcels. Parcel one, parcel two, parcel three, parcel four. Now, a post office has got no limitation. if you want you send all parcels to one post office the same post office so parcel 1 can be sent here 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 parcel 1 has got five choices even if you make one choice second parcel can also be sent to that same choice second will also have five it's not like the door type of problem that choices were be became less after one choice was made not like that here 
So 5 remains 5, third parcel also has 5, fourth has uh, 5. That's it. And it is registered post, that's why somebody has to go to the post office. 625, if there is any question then let me know. Three rings, uh, each will have which digits? 0, 1, 2, up to 9. 10 different letters. 0 to 9 are 10 different. 0 to 9, 0 to 9. Out of these uh, 10, Digits here, only one digit is correct. Only one digit is right, other nine are wrong. If you think like this, nine into nine into nine, there will be a problem. Because all of them don't, yes, that logic is better, because all of them don't have to be wrong. All of them don't have to be wrong, please note this point. To get it wrong, even if one is wrong, it's a gone case. This logic says that this will be wrong, this will be wrong, this will be wrong. So this logic should go. Let's talk about getting it right. I'm in total choices, 10 choices, 10 choices, 10 choices. They're independent choices to multiply. And out of the total choices, there can be only one right. Only one is right. Only one is right. Any questions, let me know. I gave an earlier introduction to the meaning of permutations. In permutations, you are not only interested in a team, but you are also interested in the placement of players in the team. How placement is done, who is where, or who will go first, who will go next. Placement, order, location. Suppose we have ABC. We have to choose two of them, but not only choose, we have to decide per second. As far as just choosing is concerned, choosing two, making a team of two, pick up AB, pick up AC, pick up uh, BC. You can do it in just three ways, three combinations you will get. But if you are interested in placement, relative placement, it could be A first, B next, it could be B first, A next. A first, C next, C first, A next. B first, C next, C next, C first, B next. Each one of them is called a permutation. So totally you have got six permutations. 
generally when we do problems on numbers then generally it is about permutation when we talk about uh, arranging alphabets alphabets spelling i mean words then normally those problems belong to permutations so when you see problems based on numbers and words then most of the times they are belonging to the permutations part combinations would mean that just team you are interested in you will decide later if at all who will go first who will go next this is this method is simple if you look at small numbers i mean just three numbers uh, or let alphabets for there but when the number is large then this type of counting becomes tedious now suppose we have the same question a b c d e f g h and so on now choose two and not just choose place in order then the job becomes bigger and bigger so you will start with a b a c a d a e a f you will go up to a z then you will reverse the order then you will say it could be b a it could be c a it could be d a it could be z a then you will pick up b you will start with b then b with a has been considered so b with c you will say b c b d b e up to b z then you will reverse the order you will say c b and then you will then you will say d b e b up to z b then you will go down to c you will say with c a has been grouped and uh, b has been grouped so with c you will start with uh, c d c e c f it can be done but the process becomes uh, lengthy the process becomes lengthy what we intend to do in this discussion of permutations is to make it quick we are going to arrive at some standard results using which you can answer these questions very quickly if i have 26 uh, uh, alphabets and i want to take two of them at a time and i want to arrange them also then in how many ways can i do it the answer will be very quick once we do that here any questions about understanding the meaning of permutation then let me know let me give you a simple question suppose i give you a b and c you have to take all three of them all three of them and you have to place them in order first second third order type how many ways can you do it six six is the correct answer a first b next c then a c d b a c b c a c a b c d a let me make it four a b c and d and you want two at a time and you want to arrange also not just make a team but arrangement also how many arrangements or how many permutations can you get twelve a with b a with c a with d b with c b with d c with d these are the teams so looks like uh, we are able to get six teams now 
शफलिंग ए बी बी ए सी सी ए यस ट्वेल्व इज द करेक्ट आंसर Now try this. Suppose you have uh, three uh, things. Three things. One is apple. Other is apple and banana. Apples are identical. There is absolutely no difference. Okay. In reality. it's hard to find such apples but you assume that they are absolutely identical you can't differentiate the question is how many arrangements can you get you have to place these three fruits on a line no triangle or any other shape straight line you have to place them how many ways you are getting six let's see a a b a b a b a a can you tell me anything else is possible nothing else three three is the answer whenever you have same object coming more than once the choices become less this topic is about choices larger combinations larger permutations larger choices and if you have similar things more and more and more choices become fewer and fewer and fewer if i offer you 10 apples which are absolutely identical i ask you to choose one of them what will you say what choice do i have only one choice they all look alike so identical things if they are more and more the choices are fewer and fewer 10 blue pens take a blue pen one choice I mean, ten identical blue pens. So I have only one. So there will be different situations that you will face. Uh, one is that when things are all different, and in the other case, some things may be similar.